Woods is such a beautiful map. Such great scenery, an amazing lake, a wonderful large mountain to look from. But there's so much more here than just that lumber mill. Why are you going there? Let's go. Let's find out all the other spots that you can adventure to on this map. What are you standing around for? Pick up your shotgun. Pick up your bolty. Let's go. First and foremost, let's talk about death traps. There's going to be the mill base. It's a highly trafficked area. So is the lumber mill. Generally, you like to avoid these locations. However, there's a lot of loot in these spots. So, I mean, if you're looking for combat, this is the spot. However, understand that the lumber mill is going to be surrounded by all these spots that are secluded, that basically are in the trees and hidden, and you're out in the open. That's a death trap. That You go there, you go to die. Uh, or you go to quest. That's the only reason you go there. Stay away from the damn lumber mill! All right. The mill base is a little bit more, uh, you know, it's it's open, but not. Like, there's definitely stuff that surrounds it, so you kind of have a little bit better chance of, of looting stuff out. Just keep on the move and don't stop in one place in the middle of it. You should be okay. I'm not going to go through all the extracts, but here's one over here. This one's not always open, but if you spawn on the outskirts side and the green smoke's up, you're good. There's uh, a duffel bag. And there's weapon crate there, back behind. There's also two weapon crates over here. Moving right along. You can find food spawns right here, like this Alonka bar. Let's take that for later. I suggest learning some stash routes. There's a bunch of different stashes on this map. But your biggest thing is you want to focus on that mountain right there. The big mountain is going to be your focus point. It is going to be something you'll be able to see from pretty much anywhere on the map. And if you need to find out where you're going, that's a good reference point. The other reference is going to be the lumber mill. And the reason for that is because you'll hear all the shots coming from there almost all the time. I'm going to move along to our next area. There's a stash over here just past that, uh, just in that bush directly in front of me. Uh, just past this fence and this power thing, whatever. Let's head over to mill base. Most of you already know this mill base because there's literally like tons of stuff in here and there's these big towers. It's hard to miss this location, but... I want to go over a couple spots in here that are very important. Up in these towers, you can find gun boxes. Bump up. There's also ammo. Oh, dear God. A few moments later. Yeah, de definitely didn't just walk off of a tower right there. Uh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Um, so we've got all kinds of boxes in here. Tech is that one and then heal uh, healing and food i think is this one uh med bag sports bag don't don't overlook the sports bags we've got a couple of loose med supplies in here another med bag there's all kinds of stuff in through here there's a whole med shelf here another uh large box there's a lot of large boxes in this base so it makes it very important there's a there's a uh you know there's loose spawns everywhere for food and such vodka all right but back here is going to be an important spot and this, you know, right here you can see there's a grizzly medkit sitting right here. Uh, I'm going to take that. I might need that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I found ophthalmoscopes in that spot very often. Uh, moving right along. Most people know about the med tent, the med box here. There's a provisions box there. Then there's a, another sports bag here. There's some spawns that can go here. If you're looking for your toothpaste early on, this is a good spot. In through here. <laughs> um, they, there's a crawl out space there. Obviously, lots of med stuff, a med bag. Uh, there's ammo there. People don't check back here too often, but you can find food. Of various types, a little bit of ammo, things like sugar and such. Sometimes there's a food spawn on the ground in amongst all this other stuff. And obviously you have another tower to go to. And like I said, loose spawns literally everywhere. So just keep your eyes open. But 
you get, you're usually pretty hidden. You're usually pretty hidden back here. So unless you stop moving, you're probably going to be all right. All right, let's move on to another area. Stash. 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 There's nothing at the train building. Just don't... You know, unless you have to go there, don't worry about it. RUAF is over there. Stash. Looking for the exit over here, or the extract? Look for the green smoke. If it's not smoking, it's not open. But look for this flattened out area, and you can find these steps down. There's a lot of weapons boxes down here. Even as a scab, you should be checking this. Loose loot. I have a flashlight. Weapons box. Weapons box. Weapons box. Weapons box. Loose loot all over the place. Ammo right here. All right. Keep an eye open. There's stuff all through here. I almost always try to hit this as a scab because there's uh, always loot down here. Gun boxes galore. Alright. Uh, next spot. See that in the trees? It's a little tree stand. Jaeger's camp. Right there. I'm far past it, but that's where you go when you need the letter. Letter will appear right here. Then you got the plane crash right over here. There is loose loot all through this plane crash. All kinds of stuff. Make sure you check inside. See this kvass right here? We're going to take that because we're a thirsty boy. Stuff can be all on the ground here. And then all along this area, all along the wreckage, you'll find stuff. Keep your eyes peeled. You can find stuff just laying around. It'll be up underneath the, the wreckage pieces. There's a cat. All right. And then you want to look for this tree. This tree? It's this tree. Uh, I could also be wrong. There's a bent over tree. There it is. I went to the wrong one. Bent over tree. Stash. Bent tree. Wood. Stash. All right, let's keep moving. Daylight's burning. leads up to Sniper Rock. This is Sniper Rock. There's a couple ways to approach it. There's a jump up on the left. There's also a way down on the right. There's loot up there. I'd go up there as a scav. Maybe not as a PMC. You see that camp right there? Just past it is Spine. There's a whole line of rocks. There's scavs that patrol around there. So if you're looking for scav kills, it's a good spot. But it is also... Uh, Still, still, for some reason, a place that people want to snipe down into lumber mills. So, like, if you're getting shot from that direction, that's the direction, you, that's the spot you want to look. Go back over this way. There's more to see. This pile of rocks. That leads to village. 
it's all kind of like where we came from. Where the extract is down in there. Guy is constantly winded. See this pile of rocks right here? Stash. I'm popping an SJ6. This is sometimes an extract. Uh, usually, if you spawn on the outskirts side, which is you know very rare. Stash. Weapons box. These two buildings. Small building has some stuff in it. Weapons box and some tech. Not a ton though. This building has a lot. Tech spawns. Tech crate spawns there. Sometimes fuel can spawn down here and up here, so keep an eye out. Occasionally something can spawn there. Stuff will spawn on these shelves over here. Weapons parts here, and a weapons box there. Other side. Weapons box. Food and, and provisions. And any kind of bedroll usually has a chance to spawn some some kind of, like, valuables. I don't think I've ever seen anything there, though. Uh, over here, sometimes we'll spawn a sewing kit. So those can be important. Don't forget this trailer up here. Food spawns. Some ammo. What, uh, toolbox, another kvass because I'm a thirsty boy. That has a weapons box right in front of it. Back here. Stash. That one hardly ever gets hit, too. Right over here is a whole bunch of rocks to have a nice vantage point into village. See? Weapons box. This is a very open intersection, so I would make sure you don't spend too much time over here. However, when you come over here... Wrong one. Dash. All right, let's head down into the village. These hills up here are excellent for looking down and sniping into the village, but everybody kind of knows about them, so be aware of that. Often overlooked. You've heard of Giving Tree on Customs. This is Giving Riverbed. Sugar. Sugar. There's usually another spawn in here, too. So you can find, like, two items in amongst here, and they're not always bad. So take a little stroll down this way and look around these logs. You'll find some stuff. Don't get too close to the shore. There's a sniper, invisible sniper, on the other side of the map. Or other side over there. And they'll shoot you. Weapons box. Sometimes ammo in there too. I don't think the other one spawns anything if I'm correct. Yeah. Alright. Village is another contested area. Uh, often good for finding scavs. Vehicle, vehicle extracts right there. It's... So joyously decided to rain. Jump up spot. You can actually jump up over here. Ammo spawn. That guy's tired. Tired of walking around woods. 
You can jump up in here and get into the shed through that way. The other entrances are from the road over here, and there's a back entrance there. Those are the only ways in to this location, and the only ways out are those two. You can't, I don't think there's any jump overs you can get to get out. So just be aware of that, that this is kind of like a one-way street here. Inside the house, you'll find food, but there's also a very important spawn in the back of the house, or the back side of the house. All the way back here, you can get graphics cards that spawn right here. Lots of food. There's a duffel upstairs. Water ration. But yeah, all kinds of food in through here if you're getting hungry. This is a spot to hit. There's tech spawns on the back here. And there's a toolbox and tech in the shed. No, I could probably jump over right here. Yeah. Yeah, we can get out through here and there. But people get trapped in here often. Thunder's rolling. We better get inside. Come across the street. Food and tech spawns in that garage. You can't get in that one. Don't try. This door's open. Turn around. See that there's food and also a weapon or an uh, ammo box right there. You find uh, things spawning on here sometimes. All kinds of food in through here. Ooh, rat cola. Food duffels. More stuff. Jump over here. Ammo box. Another bed. Food spawn. Duffel. Alright. Well, let's take a break here and come back. Alright. The storm is passing. Uh, sugar has turned into condensed milk, apparently. Alright. Let's go. Alright. After you've looted in here, then, as I said, there's stuff out here. Uh, that, uh, the can of peas turned into... Oh, man, I'm groggy from the night before. Can of peas turned into some milk, apparently. But you can sometimes find some tech, tech spawns back here. As I said, there's food and tech spawns through here. A toolbox. It's always worth checking out. Can't get in there. Moving on. Oh, wrong. Let's go this way. This house has a couple tech and food spawns as well. You'll find stuff laying around like the measuring tape here and some stuff on those shelves. Toolbox. And sometimes you'll find money and obviously some food. There. See? Money. Money will spawn here. You go upstairs. It's not a ton that usually spawns up here, but because there's beds, there's sometimes like a valuable in around here. So just take a quick look. And there's ammo that can spawn back here. All right, heading back down. The backyard is kind of open, um, but there's a weapons box and a toolbox there. So it's worth, it's worth maybe scav hitting, you know? Let's move right along. As I said, the vehicle X feels straight ahead. I don't recommend laying behind the sign. Most people will stay off to the side. Don't go off on that side because that's a lot more open. A lot of trees over here to give you cover. And just run up whenever you need to get out. Uh, you can toss your bag right by the car and then just grab it so that way you can easily run. Do not go past the concrete barriers because the, you will get sniped by the invisible sniper. Off to our left here. Not too far. I believe it's in this bush. Stash. 
Now we're going to head down here. There's a road over on your left and the shore on your right. You can keep as reference. Uh, don't go too far on the right. Remember, there is the invisible sniper. He will uh, take shots at you. We're going to run up here. You'll see this little path going up. There's a whole ridge line that runs up towards the Sniper Mountain. But we're not going to run up there. We're going to go over here to the right. Stash. These rocks you can get up on. You can take a look down into Sunken Village, which is where we're heading next. Uh, there's the easy way and the hard way down from here. You can go to the easy way, which is down into the left and straight through the road, but it's exposed. The hard way is a little bit more difficult. You can kind of fall down these rocks over here, which can be dangerous, but you got to be a little careful. And don't break your legs like I did before. I mean, I, that never happened. That never happened. see this rock formation on the left before we go down into the village we're gonna run up here this bush right here stash all right we'll start on the left side of sunken village There's going to be a whole bunch of broken down houses here. All right, keep these in mind. This one, you get in through this door. There's a valuable spawn right there inside that little tent, duffel. And then you'll sometimes find some food back here on this bench. Moving on to our left. There's not a lot to go in on this house for, but there is specifically stash. And sometimes valuables will spawn back in these corners and on the ground here, so keep an eye out for that. Sometimes right here as well. Now, see this rock? We're going to get up on this rock. This is if you want to. Don't advise this all the time. See that? That's a horse, I do believe. Yep. So there's a valuable spawn in this boat right here. You can also get up into the steeple of this church right here. And sometimes things will spawn in here. But I feel like it's a lot more rare than what it has been in the past. So at your own risk, guys. This is very open, so... And you can run out of there. And not really much over here. Some ammo spawns. But it's worth checking, like, all of these houses just because of the stuff that could possibly be in here. So, uh, food spawns. A little bit of ammo more food. Woods is almost better for food than actually going to uh, Goshen in uh, Interchange. Uh, back at that back shed, there is a little bit of ammo that can spawn. And then underneath this boat, there's a toolbox right there. Also, check these sheds, because, like, that shed can spawn fuel sometimes. Moving along. You will find the marked circle right over here. Some rare loot spawns, like this horse, obviously. But if you need to do your mark quest, that's the spot for that. All right. Still moving along. You've got this dilapidated house. And just past it, you're going to find this little tipped-over boat. And there are loot spawns in here. 
Doesn't look like anything spawned on this run, but always look in here. There's a uh, rare loot that can spawn there. Also back in this corner, on this side, rare loot. Basically, you gotta check pretty thoroughly on these houses to see if there's anything in them. Down here, where the people were hanging their laundry, food spawns out here on the table. Then inside, there's all kinds of spawns. There's a rare loot spawn right there. See the horse. And food and various things through here. Sometimes ammo, like that. Keep your eyes open. There's a toolbox right here, but let's keep moving on. Wait a minute. Is that not where the tool... Are they moving on me? No, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's like... I thought it was supposed to be here. It's right there. Okay. Moving along. Up this road, you'll find stacks. Stacks is a... Basically, a whole bunch of stack crates... Right up there. Lots of loot in there. But we're going to stop over here to the right first. This is the Scav Bridge Extract. And the Scav Bridge doesn't really have a lot of loot at it. Even the two side shacks don't really have much. However, there is one spot to get, pay attention to. That's right over here on the side. You see this dead body? You can loot that. Just be very careful. You don't want to go too far that the sniper scav, the, the invisible sniper, decides to take your head off. And then we're going to go head down to that rock real quick. Just keep an eye out, guys. Those signs that have the little uh, target thing, those are the sniper thing. Like, that says, don't go past this point. You're going to get shot. All right. Right past this tree and these bushes. Boop. Stash. All right. Let's go up to stacks real quick. All right. Welcome to stacks. All right. So in here, weapons box, ammo box, rare loot spawn, and some more am loose ammo. Another weapons box. Loose food spawns right in through here, but people often don't hit it. Also on this table, in this shack, see Amelia Rise, you might need those. There's food spawns in this crate. Sometimes a Paka armor will spawn in here. Ammo in here. Up top, a duffel. There are rare loot spawns that can spawn here. I found a lie in this wipe. Sugar. Other food spawns. Lots of food on woods. Food can be very valuable. Moving along. Directly over here, we'll have the radio tower, which is also known as scav bunker for your scav extracts. So there's a lot of weapons boxes and such around. Another food spawn right in the center. So you've got weapons box, ammo box, weapons box, and loose ammo spawns. Down in the bunker, you've got a lot of stuff. You've got a duffel bag at the entrance, a toolbox, loose tech spawn, loose tech spawns in through here, sometimes a loose tech spawn back here. So keep your eyes open there. Another duffel, rare loot spawn, rare loot spawn. Looks like something. That looks that look like a lion. <laughs> That's a lion. Yeah, look out for these things, guys. So jacket and also loose food spawns there. If you're complaining, you can't find the expensive uh, items. It's because you're not looking. All right, we'll get up to over here in just a moment. 
But on our left over here is Prapper's Convoy. This is an important, important quest in the very early stages as it gives you your compass. So there's some ammo spawns inside here and loose spawns all around. Just keep your eyes open. There is a also a tech crate back. There we go. There it is. Right here. But yeah, there's spawns all over the place here. But you are very exposed, and people do camp this, especially early on. Weapons boxes. So, I don't advise hitting this uh, too early, but later on in the wipe, as a scav, it might be a spot you want to check out. Down from Radio Hill, across to this mountain right here, or this hill. Which you oftentimes spawn in, and around. It's a good spot to hit, as there is a stash there. We should eat and drink. Um, nom nom. <laughs> Delicious! Alright. Up and around. Now as we go up this hill, you will normally want to go around to your side, but this rock right here is important. Directly towards it. Stash. Careful how far you go that way, as there are mines. But you can still go a good ways over there before you hit them. There are signs. However, there is a minefield behind the USEC camp that does not have signs. There is nothing posted saying there's mines there, and you got to be careful. I'll show you about where it's at. Because right across here is, is USEC camp. You can cross right through this area. You'll be fine. Claudia in the woods. Alright, this is part one of USEC camp. And a very important part too. Is this medical area oftentimes gets missed. And also don't forget to look underneath because there's stuff that spawns on the ground that often gets overlooked too. Don't see anything, but also like it's important to just kind of scan over it. Lots of stuff gets here, like food and then med supplies. There's a golden star right there. Inside this tent, there's an MP5 that can spawn right on this box, and there's food supplies in here. If you starve on woods, you've done something wrong. All kinds of weapon supplies here. A weapons box. Oftentimes fuel will spawn over here, and you can sometimes find some gear, like their ammo or, or uh, food that spawns on this right here. It's almost like somebody is trying to snipe at Prapper's Convoy. Huh. Continuing on. Another tech crate here. And a weapons box here. And some random attachments there. Now all through these camps, and some people, somebody's probably going to say it. Like, oh, there's weapons spawns. You missed an M4 spawn. You missed that. Guys, they're all over the place. Alright. If you see, there's actually a dead body back this way. If I'm correct. But there's mines back this way. You gotta be super careful, guys. Okay? Is that it? That's the body. So you can loot that body, but you gotta be careful on your approach. Just like the body over by uh, Scav Bridge. Alright, continuing on. Right across here. And you can approach this from two different directions. Up that way will get you up and around the uh, rocks. And over here, you can walk straight on in to the second part of USEC camp. All right, so there's food spawns and ammo spawn right here. More food and such here. All right, and more food and... Oh, that's actually meds, I do believe. Double check. Yeah, meds. And weapons box. There's a rare loot spawn back this way. So always check back in here. You might find something just sitting around. Usually beds. Always check around beds for uh, 
for rare loot. And sometimes you can find a USEC trooper armor back here, just sitting and hanging out. I haven't found one in a good while, so they might have removed that or changed it, changed its rate, but. Check inside the doors of these trucks. There is a weapons box on the back. Food spawns. More food. More food. Food and rare loot. Find all kinds of different things that spawn over here for rare loot. There's an MRE. Various different uh, weapons attachments and a weapons box. You gotta be careful of that rock right over there. I've actually made a video of, of different sniping spots. That is an excellent spot, a vantage point directly over to this camp and it's 100 meters. So people looking for shooter born, I don't think it's any problem. Just go ahead and sit over there and hang out and wait for somebody to loot the camp because uh, with as many weapon spawns as are here now that people know about, because there's an M4 that can spawn right here. The soap mod, it absolutely spawns right there, guys. All right. And then there's ammo and such there. A couple different ways down from here, but I'll uh, just go down right around the same way. All right. From here, you can take the roundabout way. The left will take you down the road and then back over to Sniper Mountain and Lumber Mill. Up this hill. This is actually one of the spawns. There is a spawn in this dip here. And you can literally come right over to this rock and lay down. There's plenty of different ways and angles you can go through here. I actually like to lay down on top of this rock to get a little bit extra height. But this shot is 100 meters and right there is where the weapons box is. So somebody going through here and looting, they're not going to, you know, they if they don't look over here, they're going to get sniped. But you still have a vantage point to the back of the truck and into the tent if you want to do that and also obviously up there where they might jump up as well and start looting so you, you definitely have some spots to to hit if people are uh going there and like i said that's 100 meters so keep that in mind moving right along this road how oh, it even though it is exposed is a uh, good point to note. There's a minefield out here on the right, but it is marked by signs. Keep your eyes open. You'll be fine. Stash. All this in through here is just open woods. For the most part, there's not really anything. There might be a stash or two in there that I am unaware of. But, I mean, there's plenty of stashes that I've kind of combed over or not, not pointed out. And the point is, guys, that, like, it's only important to know a few stashes along this map. There are many stash guides. If you want to know stashes specifically, I recommend you go and watch one of those. Um, Woods is more than just stashes, but there's, you know, there's plenty of loot to be had here. The mine signs you can see are farther out there, so there's plenty of spots that if you're looking to to hole up or hide that you can do along here. Um, but there's not really too many things to to take a vantage point on. So so it's not like this is a great shooter born in heaven spot or anything like that, but it is a spot that you can kind of hang out. You can still see the mine signs are still a good distance away. We're gonna go up to this hill, just past this bush, dash. Moving over here. Oh shit! <laughs> Where was? A few moments later. Okay. <laughs> Beware of mines that apparently can just spawn right there. Wow. All right, that's a hill to be careful of. 
That's the first time I've ever hit a mine in that spot. Moving right along. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Over here at this rock are is one of the fuel spawns that you have to mark for Ragman. But there are two weapons boxes over here. One and two. Uh, don't hang out here for too long. This is a decently traveled area and can easily be seen. Especially since it's a quest spot. I'm walking a little bit more into the open to go point out a few spots over here. This is the checkpoint. Checkpoint area heading into woods. Into the lumber mill. You will find a couple things at. Weapons box in here. Bunch of filing cabinets and loose ammo. Inside this car, there can spawn a key card right here on the seat. But also your motor controller, <clears throat> one of the items you'll need for lend lease is going to spawn inside of the vehicle there. Another weapons box. All right. Up there's the lumber mill. Uh, go there if you want to die. Straight into the woods here. Past this rock. I should be almost on a beeline for it. Should be. There it is. This is the other marked circle. Sometimes rare loot spawns here, but I feel like that's less and less. Uh, this jacket is searchable, but this is the other spot you'll need to mark. And as you can see, the open area on the on the right, we're going to move up a little ways, and you're going to see some shack, or shack on some barbed wire on our left soon. Here it is. This is referred to as scope shack because inside is very often a scope that spawns or scopes. And so you can get a decent amount of uh, attachments and such there. Some food spawns on the outside, weapons box, and then all this stuff in here. See? Scopes. Scopes. That's the 824. Or no, that's the 1-8. That's 1-8. That's the one I have on the Remington right now. All right. Got lots of different spawns in there. Okay. Uh, we'll do a roundabout. So there's a couple spawns over this way that are notable that you want to keep an eye on. Again, we're avoiding the lumber mill unless we're questing there. There's not much. If you got to get Shooter Born in Heaven stuff... It's a good spot to go to because there's going to be other people trying to do the exact same thing. Uh, the dock is right over here, which is a scav extract, but right next to it is Dead Man's Place. Which you can do one of two ways. There's actually, there's like a little uh, hole right here. If you crawl in there, you'll extract, but I opened up a bleed. But there's a dead scav here you can search, and also a duffel to find things in there. Over this way. Referencing this tree stand. Just past this bush. Stash. And then... Past this rock, right over the hill, you'll find the outskirts extract, which most of you will have as an extract whenever you come into woods. Signified by this truck. Don't go too far past the truck. It should be obvious as to where you don't want to go, as there are barriers and such. But anywhere in here, you can actually uh, lay down in the grass, and it's usually a decent uh, spot for extract. Now there's only two more spots I need to show you guys. It's 
scav house. Lots of scavs will spawn in and around this area. It's a good spot to get uh, scav kills on woods if you need them. There are a few fuel spawns in here, or not fuel spawns, but uh, uh, food spawns. And you can also get a car battery in here, as we found before. Sometimes there will be stuff that spawns like right in and around here. A food spawn like down in here. And up on the table is often times found as well. But that is one of the extracts for scavs. There's a whole area back here between the minefield and also the, uh, the wall that comes up. And you can actually walk in and around that area. The wall is a great reference point. Scavs will walk in and around this area, but not out so there so much. You can actually lay on those hills and snipe the scavs over here if you need scavs, scav kills. And you're pretty much out of the way of most PMCs. If you're traversing this area, I would suggest walking on the opposite side of the wall. You aren't going to be seen by the scavs or the PMCs that much. Um, and there's a decent distance between you and the minefield. This pile of rocks is very important. This break in the here, you'll see this green smoke. This is EB-14. This is one of the other main extracts you can go to. You have to have a key to get in, so you have to have the EB-14 key. But at this point in the wipe, you can probably find it on the flea market. There are also a duffel, a weapons box here. You have to unlock it. There's some spawns on that shelf sometimes too. And then in here, you'll find another weapons box, some spawns on the shelves, another golden star. <laughs> and down in here, you gotta be very, you gotta look pretty closely, but you'll be able to find 60 round mags for uh, the Prapper Quest ice cream cones, as well as having, um, having them for, and there's tech spawns and such. But as well as having them for your 545 uh, guns. So you have six round mags. Alright, guys, that's pretty much it. The only thing left to do is to get on out of here. Run over here to this SUV, which is obviously not broken down. And we'll leave. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you hanging out and watching. And. Oh. I think my ride's broken. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check me out on TikTok and on Twitch. I stream uh, regularly, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I always put my stuff in the Discord. You can check that out as well. Have a great day.